there welcome back to the strong sisters youtube channel and today's recipe video we are going to be making some opal burgers it's a fun recipe for us maybe not fun for you yet but you'll get there so putting opals in burgers so putting opal parts ground with ground meat is a great way to mask eating offal parts if you are not a huge fan of just eating them individually. We are not actually putting liver in this recipe, which you would have maybe expected. We are actually using kidney and spleen. The reason we're not doing liver and kidney is because you kind of get repetitive nutrients there. They're both very high in niacin, choline, vitamin B12, all the B vitamins really. So you don't really need both per se if you are eating liver on the side. The only two unique nutrients you're gonna get from liver in abundance as opposed to not getting in kidney is hopper and vitamin A. So we're emitting the liver, we're adding in the kidney because I find that more people have a harder time eating kidney on its own. So it's a good idea to grind it into a burger. And we're also adding in the spleen because spleen is a great source of selenium and vitamin C. A lot of people say that carnivores get no vitamin C and whether or not you need it is up for debate, but might as well add in an actual carnivore source of vitamin C. So I'm gonna be grinding in some spleen. We got all of these nutrient information from our organ encyclopedia, which is our guide to eating no to tail that's our book it's a practical guide to eating nose to tail i'll link the description to find that on amazon in the description below so check that out if you are interested in eating more opal parts but for now let's get grinded into this recipe the ingredients for the organ meat burgers include the following so here we have the meat we have one pound of ground beef and then we've got eight ounces total of Oval parts so we've got four ounces of spleen and four ounces of kidney we've got two slices of pastured bacon and then some seasonings so we've got some parsley about one tablespoon and then about one teaspoon worth of oregano and one teaspoon of rosemary we've also got some real salt and then some tallow be thy name from white oak pastures which is just a tallow bar which we're going to fry up the burgers in guess you want some kidney <laughs> okay. all right an optional step one is to soak your kidney in an acidic medium or milk. So you could soak it in white vinegar, lemon juice, or milk for about an hour or two, and then thoroughly rinse it with cold water. We don't mind the taste and smell of kidney, so we are not gonna do that step. But if you really can't stand the taste or the smell, then definitely recommend letting it soak in the acidic medium. The next step is to grind up all of your meat. So we are using our grinder that attaches to our stand mixer. It was an attachment for about $50 on Amazon. If you don't have a actual meat grinder, you can probably just use a blender and you would just blend all the ingredients together to make like a mush. But we are going to grind it and then mix it. So spleen is a great option for this recipe because spleen's consistency is very spongy and similar to ground beef. So it really can be masked well and there's a lot of great nutrients in here. All right, now we're gonna mix up all of the ground meats and opals. And now we are going to add all of the spices. And we will add two teaspoons of kosher salt. So the Wiggles have a song that goes fruit salad, yummy yummy, but here we are, opal, wait, opal salad, opal salad. yummy yummy, it's opal more like, salad, it's more like mashed opals, there we go, yummy yummy, mashed opals, yummy yummy, yummy 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 mashed opals, okay that looks good. Before forming the, bor the burgers, the burgers, we are going to let this sit in the fridge for like a half hour. 
So the amount of offal burgers we're going to be preparing in this recipe is great for like a weeks out in advance. So this is a perfect carnivore diet recipe to include in your carnivore diet meal plan or whatever you call it. So it's great to meal prep these things and you can pop them in the freezer if you're not going to use them within that week or you can keep them in the fridge until you're ready to pull them out and cook them up. So we're going to get started and I'm going to show you the final product of what the burgers looked like cooked as well. So stay tuned for that. So with the 16 ounces total of meat, I've made seven circles here, seven meatballs that I'm gonna smash down into burgers. So there's just over three ounces of meat within each considering that our base recipe had roughly 24 ounces. So now I'm just going to mash these into burgers. I like my burgers a little bit thicker, so I'm not gonna do them too much. And while I'm doing this, I've got a cast iron heating up because we are just going to cook ours on the cast iron. You can obviously grill these. The spleen is a little bit sticky, so you might wanna be, be careful with that and definitely spray your grill or pan beforehand. And just as a note, the herbs that we used, so rosemary, parsley, and oregano, that is based on our preferences, and those are rather benign seasonings. We talk about seasonings and condiments and spices in a video about seasonings, condiments, and spices on the carnivore diet, and we list um, more toxic spices as opposed to, or in comparison to, more benign. So typically herbs are gonna be more benign, and then things like seeds, are gonna be a little bit more toxic. So if you're somebody who is dealing with an autoimmune condition, I love how I'm having this conversation where I'm like pressing down on me. If you're somebody who's dealing with an autoimmune condition um, or severe inflammation or is sensitive to different spices, I would definitely just stick with the benign ones like the herbs we use in this recipe. So let's cook these bad boys. Don't mind me, just me and my awful burgers. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be that mom in the future who like rolls up to the little kid's birthday party or on Halloween is passing out bags of frozen liver candies. I probably won't make many friends that way, but at least I got my nutrients in. These smell so good. It's probably the bacon, but you seriously cannot tell that there's any opal parts in here. Mmm, I am loving this. Guys, these recipes is perfect for trying to sneak in opal parts to like kids meals or kids diets because they'll never guess that there is opal parts in their burger. They're just gonna treat it like it's a normal burger. Little tip for you, since I am meal prepping these, I'm going to leave them relatively rare, so I'm not gonna overcook them, and that way if I do end up heating them back up, they won't be well done burgers, not a fan of that. So I'm just gonna flip these last two and then take them off. So I've had them on the cast iron for roughly two or so minutes each side, mm, probably about a minute each side, and then take them off. Am I right, Gus? Am I right? You want some? Well, you know to sit, buddy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Was that good, buddy? Yes. Alas, we have the final product, seven beautiful awful burgers all fried up in tallow be thy name. Smelling like a dream. So a little bit fell off, so I'm going to give it a taste test and see what I think of the seasonings and the flavors. A little bit more. Very good. I highly recommend you try this recipe, especially if you're new to getting into eating awful parts. It's gonna be a great, just like, dip in your toes in the water, just dip, a little dip without just like jumping and eating straight spleen or straight kidney. I'm not the biggest fan of just eating spleen by itself. 
So this is one way that I do enjoy spleen, mixing it with bacon particularly, but the rest of the ingredients also help. I do like eating kidney by itself, so I'm going to be a little bit biased because we didn't soak the kidney, but like Ashley said in the beginning, you can soak the kidney to transform the flavor just a little bit. But overall, these are excellent. I guarantee you somebody who does not like oval parts will get down with these burgers, so I highly recommend you give them a shot and add them into your carnivore diet meal prepping status plan. But thank you guys for tagging along in today's video. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you could, while you're here, hit the like and subscribe button. We're going to keep sharing recipes as we go. A reminder, we have our full cookbook coming out with Dr. Saladino, and it should be out early summer 2020, which is going to have over 150 nose to tail recipes. So definitely stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you are interested in getting into more nose to tail eating, like I said, we have our Organ Cyclopedia, which is a practical guide to eating nose to tail. It's a book we wrote that has over 20 different oval parts and different ways to camouflage them, just like these burgers. It has the macronutrients, micronutrients that each oval is high in, and then different ways, like I said, to camouflage so you can get into eating them yourself, which honestly just puts a whole nother spin on carnivore and makes it a more enjoyable and more fun and more creative lifestyle. So check that out below. It's how we got into nose tail eating. But until next time, as Ashley would say, behave like a angel. No, edit. Behave like a an angel and eat your awful burgers.